Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. I am a travel respiratory therapist currently in Portland, Oregon here for an eight week assignment. If you watched my last vlog, you know that I'm currently on standby, which means for this assignment, I do not have a hospital assigned to me yet. So I'm currently waiting to see which hospital I get assigned to. Basically what that entails is I have to check in every morning with my on-site representative for my agency. And then you kind of just wait for a call to see if they have assigned you to a hospital. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have questions about that, about how it works and how this is so much different from a normal travel assignment. So if you guys have any questions regarding these COVID crisis assignments, please leave a comment down below and I'll really try to answer that and address that for you guys in another video. I feel like that'll help a lot of you guys that are thinking about traveling and you should definitely jump on that opportunity right now because there's are, there are tons of contracts going out right now. So it is now Monday. Um, I've been here in Portland for almost a week now and I've been on standby all week. I vlogged a little bit last week of when I went hiking. If you guys want to go and follow me there on Instagram, I update a lot more frequently there and I finally realized like how to do reels on Instagram. So they're not the greatest but I've been doing kind of mini vlogs on there since I've been exploring Portland. So if you want to catch me on there you'll be able to see what I'm doing much more frequently on there. So it is already 2.42. I woke up this morning, checked in downstairs with my on-site and then came back to the room. I went to go work out downstairs here in the hotel. I currently don't have a rental car right now. Like I said before, I was using Turo to rent cars, so I would rent it for a couple days, but I don't feel comfortable renting it for a month yet since I'm not sure if I'll actually be staying in Portland or what's gonna happen. So it's kind of like a day to day process for me. I had plans today to go down to the museum downtown, but the Portland Museum of Art is actually closed on Mondays, so I figured I'm gonna do that tomorrow. We're gonna do a whole downtown Portland day. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, so that will be tomorrow. For today, I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of blah, and I am on standby, and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, man, that's so awesome. You're, you know, you're in the hotel, you're in Portland, and it is a lot of fun exploring Portland, but it is also very exhausting. And on top of that, exploring portland on my own is another level of exhausting i guess you could say i'm not uncomfortable at all like traveling alone exploring alone i think i've just been doing so much back to back uh yesterday i was like i am exhausted and it was raining really hard it was actually the first day since i've been in portland that it's rained and so it was a nice chill day in the hotel i stayed in the hotel all day and just relaxed in the room did some editing and caught up with family and friends back home. So it was a really relaxing day and I thought today I would wake up and just be ready to like hit the ground running, but I'm still pretty tired. Um, and I don't think it's tired, I think it's just when you are exploring by yourself as much fun as it is. I think when you're just like driving, planning, on top of that just being like 10 times more aware of your surroundings because I am alone so I'm always just making sure like no one's following me like you know have this general sense of being safe in a, a city and town that I know nobody and like not really familiar with the area I think all of it was just it was just a lot I, I just felt like emotionally and physically tired and I thought too um when I was in Hawaii, we were doing so much back to back, like get off work, go do this and that. And I felt like I'm more tired here than there. But I also think the big difference was I had friends in Hawaii, like people that I traveled with, but not complaining or anything, just kind of telling you guys where I'm at. Like, especially on social media, all you see are like the highlights of traveling and you don't really see like you know it does get kind of lonely sometimes when you are traveling by yourself it's only been a week and i'm already like mm. but yeah so anyway enough of that that's just kind of where i'm at so instead of heading downtown today i decided i'm just gonna call it a chill day here in the hotel of course still waiting to see if i have an assignment for a hospital which i haven't yet but yeah i think i am just gonna try to plan the rest of my week 
Granted, I'm not selected to go to a hospital. Just kind of plan like what days I'm gonna rent a car, what days I'm going to hike and do all that stuff, and then catch up on some reading, and then probably just order some dinner tonight. I don't really feel like heading out today. So I am planning to vlog this week, all the fun stuff I have planned. So I guess we're gonna do like a week in the life of a travel therapist that isn't working but is working so she's staying at the hotel and exploring the city. If that could only fit on a YouTube video title. That's what the title of this video would be. And also if you are new to traveling or curious about traveling, if there's anything that I don't cover or any questions you have about traveling, being an RT, RT school, leave a comment down below. I'll definitely try to answer them for you. A few months ago, I did a Q&A, RT um, Q&A, and I feel like I have time to do another one. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll try to answer that in another video if I can get enough questions. And also, if you want to leave me a message on Instagram, a lot of you guys message me on Instagram, and I love hearing from you guys, especially those of you that are in RT school, I feel like a big reason why I even started this channel was for that very reason. Because I remember when I was in respiratory school, I couldn't find anything on the internet about respiratory or what it was like being a therapist. I had no idea what travel life was like. There's a ton of videos, obviously, for nurses, but nothing for RTs. So when I get messages from you guys in school, and saying that these videos kind of help you while you're in school it makes me feel so happy because that is definitely one of the biggest reasons i started this youtube channel so please feel free to message me anytime i welcome it i openly welcome any questions as well so yeah i guess for the rest of the day i'm just gonna edit work on my schedule and read some books and let's get this vlog started for the rest of the week so one thing I am going to do before I forget, I'm going to head downstairs to the front desk and ask if I can get a microwave. This morning when I went to the gym to work out, I saw like two microwaves in the hallway. I guess people had checked out and left the microwave there or cleaning. I don't know. There were just like two microwaves in the hallway and I saw someone picking it up. And she's like, yeah, you just have to go to the front desk and they'll loan you a microwave. I'm not sure if there's a charge, but if there is, I'm definitely going to just go ahead and uh, get one. Um, but I kept trying to go to the front desk and they weren't answering. So I'm going to head downstairs and do that, which is also another good tip when you're traveling. If even though there is no microwave in your hotel room, usually if you ask the front desk, sometimes they do have microwaves for you to rent for free or for a fee um i've gone to a couple hotels where that is the case for some reason i think i've just been eating out so much here in portland i didn't think to even ask for a microwave but i'm definitely trying to buckle down and like eat more especially since i have like all my groceries i haven't eaten out yet today it's only two o'clock all right success she said that they're gonna send someone over to bring me a microwave and it's free so i'm just gonna kind of make room here i don't know where else they can put it because i don't really know where there's a plug or anything but i think it might fit there but we'll see i just went ahead and put it on top of the fridge there's an um, extension cord here I'm just gonna plug it in whenever I actually use it because um, I can move that extension cord up and just use it. Good morning you guys. It is now Tuesday and it's a little after 12 o'clock. I just finished eating some lunch. I had some egg bites. I'm just sipping on my celery juice and what else did I have? Oh, pomegranates. I got like these little um, pomegranate seeds from Trader Joe's. I went to Trader Joe's a couple days ago. Um, and did a little grocery shopping so I was able to use my microwave for the first time today so that was nice um, so yeah I'm pretty much ready to go today I'm going to explore downtown Portland it's the first time I'm heading down there so I'm pretty excited we're gonna grab some coffee at Kofa um, I do love me some good coffee so Portland is like really well known for all their coffee shops I've already explored one I've tried one in the um, Alberta Arts District. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, Kova will be the second one that I'm trying. I'm just gonna taste test all the different coffees here in Portland. And then after that, I'm gonna walk over to the museums and check them out. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna check out or if I'll check out both, but the Portland Art Museum and the Oregon Historical Museum is down there and not too far. 
and then we'll see what I do after that. It's still pretty early, so we'll see. Um, this morning, I just woke up early for my check-in, and then I worked out at the gym, and now I'm ready to go and head out to downtown, so I think I'm just gonna gather all my stuff. It doesn't look like it's raining right now, but the percentage of rain is pretty much all day, so I'm just gonna be prepared for all of the elements, and call my Uber, and we will head downtown. All right, I think I'm ready to go. I have layers on again. And those of you in the north like where it's really cold are probably going to laugh because I'm like, it's so cold. It's only 40 degrees. But I've just spent the last few months on the island and it's really freaking cold to me. So I have layers on again. I have like these, um, these are just, I have like shorts under here, like biking shorts. And those are from Lulu. These tights are from Nike. These are my Nike shoes. I have another thermal under this and then my Lulu sweater. And then I have my North Face jacket, which is, this is actually a pretty neat cause it's like a three in one jacket. So you can actually take this apart and it's like a regular jacket. And then this is an, a rain jacket. And then what's the third part? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know anyway. <laughs> So here's, um, I have my gloves in here too, so just prepared for what the weather will be like for the rest of the day, so let's go! I hate that I just did that, alright? Let's just do this. <laughs> the Portland Museum of Art was open today but it's closed so I'm gonna go to the Oregon Historical Society instead but downtown's really pretty and the sun came out and it's not raining too hard it's kind of drizzling but it's not too bad so I did not realize Tanya Harding was from Portland interesting Wednesday and it is about 11:30. I kind of just stopped vlogging yesterday because when I was in downtown it was around like two o'clock I just started feeling really sick like nauseous and I get really easily uh, nauseous like I get car sick easily on these boats and stuff that I did in Hawaii I was like downing Dramamine because I just get motion sickness pretty easily but I don't know what it was about yesterday I don't know if it was like the coffee on kind of an empty stomach like I didn't have a lot of sustenance before I drank that coffee or I don't know what it was but I was really kind of feeling under the weather yesterday so I took an uber back to the hotel at like pretty early like around three I would say and I kind of just spent the rest of the day in bed. Um, I didn't do anything. And I just stayed in the room and ate leftovers and had, I actually did order some soup. Um, I always feel like soup just makes me feel so much better. <laughs> but I ordered some soup and then I called it a night. And I, even last night, I felt so much better like around midnight. So I really don't know what was going on, but it kind of cut my day short in downtown Portland, so yeah and it was a beautiful day like it ended up not raining the sun was out it wasn't too cold there's someone at my door hold on <laughs> good thing i went and checked it was housekeeping i guess they were like walking around my door <laughs> to see if i was i don't know because i have the do not disturb sign i always leave the do not disturb sign on my door um but yesterday i did ask the front desk for toilet paper because i ran out so I just asked her for some toilet paper and some new towels and some trash bags. Um, I usually, I don't know if I talked about this yet, but I usually don't um, ask for housekeeping to clean my room when I do these long stays. Uh, just because I try to keep it clean myself, like I'll bring my own cleaning stuff to clean the hotel. And I'll usually just ask them maybe once every two weeks to like change the sheets and stuff. I typically like to tip cash whenever they do clean the room. so. I don't know, I just, to save myself money and their effort, I'll just ask for extra things from the front desk when I need them. So, and they also ask for trash bags, I don't know if I said that. But anyway, 
let me put these up real quick so it is wednesday it's now 11 37 and i really need to head out the door pretty quick so i am heading to the japanese uh gardens here in portland a lot of people have been telling me to check it out and from the website it looks so beautiful i was kind of worried because today is just looking really really gloomy but i figured i don't know when i'm gonna get called to hospitals so i really need to take advantage of these days so and i also made a reservation at the cafe there which from the reviews I was reading, we're saying that the matcha there is really, really good. Like, it's pretty authentic. So, wanted to check that out. So, that's at 1 o'clock. So, I'll probably do the cafe first and then head out into the gardens. I'm just really hoping it's not too rainy on that side of Portland. And I went against renting a Turo today. I decided to just Uber all day today because... I think the parking's pretty sparse like where the Japanese gardens are and it's raining so I don't really want to drive so I was like mm, let me just take an Uber so I'm gonna do that and I don't really know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day but I did have someone reach out to me on YouTube they were in Portland too and she is a fellow traveler as well in the Portland area so I am probably gonna meet her up for dinner tonight so I'm pretty excited about that with all the things with social media and stuff it's so cool to be able to connect to other RTs and other people whenever you're traveling yeah that's something exciting we will do today but I will take you guys along with me and let's go out in the rain 